Hey everybody, welcome to Face the Music. So, if you've been following my channel for any length of time now, you know that I primarily do music videos, right? A couple of episodes ago, though, I changed that up, I switched it up, and I went over and I did the Larry Bird Ultimate Mixtape Reaction. Um, that was fantastic. I really, I really had a lot of time, uh, fun doing that. Um, and like I said in that episode, you know, it was one of those things where I remembered watching a lot of those uh, plays live. I mean, not like live, I wasn't there necessarily in the stadium uh, or in the arena, but I was there. Uh, I was, you know, watching it on TV. And I remember a lot of those plays uh, from just watching, you know, especially those great battles between the Lakers and the Celtics back in the 80s. Those were fantastic. Anyways, uh, you know, had a good reaction to a lot of that, you know, uh, to that, that episode. And so I thought, you know what? At the end of that episode, I remember as I, you know, as it was fading out, Larry Bird took his, you know, took his little boy and he walked out of the arena. There was a little thing that came up, you know, how YouTube pops up for the next video to show, and it was the Magic Johnson Ultimate Mixtape. And I'm like, you know what? I haven't seen that one myself either. I wasn't even aware that there was all these mixtapes out there. So, you know, um, I'd been seeing the, the Larry Bird one for a while. I hadn't really ever actually noticed a lot of people watching the, the Magic Johnson one. I hadn't seen that come up yet. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to check that one out. And I have a feeling that because Larry or Magic Johnson was in a lot of the uh, Larry Bird mixtape, that I'll bet I'm going to see Larry Bird in this one. So that's going to be a great one as well. I remember when I was in high school back in the uh, mid '80s, you know, and um, you know I was on the basketball team of my high school there. Um, our colors were purple and gold, and of course the Lakers' colors were purple and gold. And I remember when Magic came out with his Converse shoes, the purple and gold shoes, and so we all made an agreement as a team that we were all going to buy those shoes and wear those on the court when we played, and we did. I still have photos of me and all my teammates wearing those shoes. It was a great time back then. But anyways, I'm looking forward to this. Like I said, I didn't know it was out there until I, you know, saw the little. Uh, the little uh, next episode thing come up at the end of the Larry Bird mixtape, uh, uh, you know, footage. So no more talking. Going to jump right on into it. Here we go. This is the Magic Johnson Ultimate Mixtape. This man has a smile that lights up a television screen from here <laughs> to Bangor, Maine. He really did. He really did. It's showtime. He had a passion, an incredible passion mm. to play basketball. He loved the game. He mm. loved to entertain the crowd. I'm going to stop it real quick. I hate to stop these videos. You know, I normally don't ever stop my song reaction videos, you know, because I, don't, I hate to stop songs. This, these are just like clips, you know, mixed in with each other. So hopefully it won't be a problem. Uh, but I just want to say real quick. Well, first of all, that was a great pass on the floor to Kurt Rambis. That was a great bounce pass. Um, but what I want to say about the guy you just saw, uh, Pat Riley, I mean, that guy, I used to watch, like I said, when I was watching those games, I used to watch him and think, man, what a sharp dressed coach he was. He really was. I mean, he was just, he was just always the most dapper guy out there. I mean, he just, you know, um, just a sharp dresser, probably one of the sharpest dressed coaches, maybe the sharpest dressed coach at that time. And maybe even now, I mean, just a fantastic dresser, just always was in control. That guy was awesome. Anyways, here we go. Magic's just a great basketball player. He's the best I've ever seen. He was my driving force. I just don't think there'll ever be another 6'9 point guard that smiles while he uh, humiliates you. <laughs> nice. Now the ball in low to Magic Johnson. No look to Kareem mm. Star! Great no look pass. Lakers Magic Johnson has it against Sellers. Down the lane to the hook. Plays it in. only guy that I've ever seen really throw a no-look pass. Look at a guy, time, look you off, and then hit that guy in the dime without him looking at him. Puts it up and scores on a finger roll. Mm. Five for Kareem Hurt. Kareem mm. turned an ankle. I don't think Kareem is going to be able to go anymore right now. And so Magic on the airplane asked the coach, could I please start at center? And the coach kind of laughed at him, and I said to the coach, he's serious. I called my dad, man, and I said, I'm going to go back to my high school day. He said, what are, you, what are you talking about? I'm going to go back and be able to score. I'm going to score tomorrow. I'm going to score a lot tomorrow. 
It was his show. He jumped center, and uh, he ended up scoring 42 points, 15 rebounds. We played everybody conceivable against the defense. And here's a guy that, what was he, 20 years old? It's over, and the most valuable player is Magic Johnson. He starts at center, plays forward and goes. Leads the Los Angeles Lakers to the World Championship. best you could do hmm. if you were on the defense you just had to like guard there was the no guys rhyme or reason to the fast break you some they're gonna get it something you, knew you got out there and you killed the lane <clears throat> magic is basketball the magic of 360 turn with the dribble magic down the middle gives underneath the worthy slammed up it's showtime hmm. as it became bigger than a basketball game it became more of an event we just happen to be right next door to Hollywood. Well, it's the perfect name for him because when he gets on the court, he is magic. You know, he found uh, an incredible desire uh, to want to play basketball and play it at its fullest. And so Urban's personality made that team showtime. Irvin's the type of player that can hit you when you're open, and oftentimes he knew you were open before you knew you were. He sees the open man, he knows when to get the ball to the right person at the right time at the right place. That's disrespectful right there. That is just right in the middle of everybody. Hmm. Now the announcer faked out. Hmm. Magic could take a snapshot of the court. He could be in effort to get a rebound. And when the ball hit his hand, he just took a quick snapshot, and that's all he needed to take. I mean, it's just incredible to watch this this many years later. I mean, like I said, I'm sure I've seen a lot of these games on TV back when I was, you know, back when they were actually you know, being played. But uh, just to see these plays again, it's been years and years since I've seen Maggie a lot Johnson of this. And, uh, is so it's competitive. Incredible. He really hates to lose. I mean, he really does. It's, it's, it's a passion with him to, to win and win at all costs. That's what you only few players that want the basketball, and Magic wants the ball. Ball is in the Magic. Magic to the dribble. Three seconds. Two seconds. Magic's 18 footer. Wins it. Was he fouled? No. Did he make a miraculous Ooh. shot? Yes. Has he ever done it before? You bet he has. Will he ever do it again? Time and time again. <laughs> You've heard of winning time. Well, this is Magic time. That's right. On the line, Magic Johnson always seems to take over. <laughs> Those are the shoes. Yep. As long as Larry's on the other side I'm, and I'm on this side, it's going to always be that. You always have somebody in life that you want to be and you want to compete against. And Larry Bird is the guy. Mm -hmm. mm. See, some of these plays were in Larry Bird tape, but some of them from different angles, but it's just. Wow, this rivalry, this was fantastic to watch. That fade away from Bird, that's crazy.
That shot, I remember that shot. That was, I was like, what is going on here? That one. Mm. So the final celebration belongs here. Three months ago, he announced his retirement from the NBA after testing positive for the HIV virus. But he was voted by the fans as one of the starting guards for the Western Conference Stars. <laughs> really sharp. I gotta tell you, Bob, I got a bit of a chill myself just watching him go out there. You know, this guy has meant so much to basketball. I feel, I really do. I feel privileged to see this. <laughs> All right, Isaiah against his buddy Magic. Magic raises his hands triumphantly. They're all taking a shot at the Magic. Oh, hand. now it's Jordan against Magic. <laughs> and that's two Magic said. Bring the next one on. Showtime in Orlando. The final seconds. Six. Maybe you'll see me back, maybe you won't, but I'll remember the, all these good times this afternoon. I'd like to thank you for sharing this with me. Thank you. When you play this Classic. game, to win, to have fun, and to make people happy. And if I can accomplish those three things, I've, I've done what I set out to do. And there you have it. That was the Magic Johnson Ultimate Mixtape. And just like I said at the very outset of this episode, you know, uh, I knew I was going to see Larry Bird in there, of course. But, you know, so many great battles fought between those two, of course. You know, those two guys, but those two teams, Celtics, Lakers, Larry Bird, and Magic Johnson. Um, but just fantastic. And you see all those, you know, different people that were featured in there. You know, the teammates, James Worthy. You know, you see, like, guys like Isaiah Johnson. You see, like, the actors, like Chuck Norris. You saw um, uh, Jack Nicholson in there. I mean, just... You know, that, like I said before, I've seen a lot of those games back when I was growing up. And just to kind of relive those moments and to see that kind of, you know, for lack of a better word, magic happen on the court. I mean, he was just a fantastic player. I mean, just great, no doubt about it. You saw that he, you know, told Larry Bird at his retirement ceremony that Larry was the greatest player of all time. You know, and there's, I'm sure there's going to be controversy for, you know, the next hundred years and further. You know about who's the greatest basketball player of all time, but I'm going to tell you every time I see, you know, uh, you know if I see highlights of Magic Johnson, when I see highlights of Matt, uh, Larry Bird, when I see highlights of, Matt, of Michael Jordan, and then I even see a lot of the players from today. I have to say, you know, I'm just I haven't really gotten into a lot of the the games of today of current time. I know there's some great players out there. I've seen a lot of their plays. You know, people are you know big uh, you know Jokic fans or they're big LeBron fans or they're big you know whoever fans. Uh, you know, Steph Curry, um, you know, and they've, they're they great players all in their own right. And maybe every generation is going to look back and say, you know, the greatest player came from my generation or came from a generation before mine, you know, because um, you look back before, uh, you know, you know, the 80s, you know, you look back at players like, you know, Kurt Russell or Kurt Russell, uh, Bill Russell, getting my actors and my players mixed up, you know, Bill Russell, you look at, you know, you know Oscar Roberts, you look at a lot of those players and I'm sure that people back in those eras would say like, oh, those guys were the greatest players of all time. But I will tell you, you know, Dr. J, but I will tell you, you know, when I see these players plays, it's not so much for me that I have to necessarily identify who's the greatest player of all time. I just want to look and watch the plays and just say, you know, um, and just appreciate the plays for what they are and who, you know, made those plays and just the, the, the pure, just, you know, skill that it took to, to do, uh, you know, what you see there. In front of me, because when I'm watching those those plays, a lot of times I'm looking at it. And I'm like, I don't, I can't even, you know, believe that I'm actually seeing this, and this is live. I mean, it's just like you go back to the Larry Bird tape where he shot that one shot behind the backboard. I'm like, those are the kind of things you do, and some of these passes you saw, you know, Magic Johnson do on the court. Some of those things, and those are things you do, like you know, when you're out there playing street ball out down the park, you know, not in an NBA game. Uh, you know, you would never see that in a lot of cases nowadays. Uh, but you saw it then, and that was that was what they did. And it wasn't even like it, you know, they didn't separate their, you know, street ball game from their NBA game. Whatever they, you know, had the ability to do, they did it where they were playing. And uh, it was just fantastic to see. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I really enjoyed watching that. I hope that you enjoyed it as well. Maybe you're new to the Magic Johnson mixtape, as I was. 
Uh, maybe those, a lot of those pages you haven't seen before. I hope you really enjoyed it. Check it out again. Just run it back. Check it out again. Just some great, great plays. Anyways, well, that's it for today's episode. Uh, you know, we're getting into the Christmas holidays. Uh, it's uh, near the end of November 2023. So going forward, probably going to be doing, you know, maybe some more music. But I'm also going to be doing some more, uh, maybe getting into some Christmas music, I should say. Um, definitely going to be doing music, but maybe getting into some Christmas music as we head into the holiday season. Um, if you're not a subscriber, do me a quick favor. If you would, reach over, hit that subscribe button, join our family. Let's keep all this great music alive together. Um, also, while you're at it, if you don't mind, give me a like and a share. I would appreciate that. And if you're not familiar to my channel, or if you just want to go back and do some review, check down below. I have a hashtag, Face the Music Reactions, or you can just simply go down to the playlist section. Check out through there. You'll find all my previous content. I'm sure you'll find some other great stuff in there that you'll enjoy as well. Come on back. Got some other great music and other some other things lined up for you. I'll see you next time right here on Face the Music. Take care.